Final Fantasy XIV is the MMO that has been escaping my entire existence since I ever started playing it three years ago. And I was told I'm about to embark on one of the single greatest stories in video games to ever exist. Whether it's from any expansion, from Heaven Sword to Shadowbringers, Stormblood to Endwalker. And I can't wait. I became a fan of Final Fantasy after playing through 15, after seeing the countless amount of stories and games that were always put out there. I've always been a fan of the lore, the visual design, and the story crafting that goes into a Final Fantasy game. I watched a show called Dad and Light on Netflix that was based around Final Fantasy 14 and how the social aspect of it could really help someone's life out. And for me, it thought, I thought that was pretty dope. Then I got the chance to finally play it and I enjoyed the time that I played with those people I started with. Unfortunately, life happens, things go the way that they're supposed to go, and then you don't get a chance to play anymore. Fast forward to me starting streaming in 2019, I was supposed to get into the game, but of course, going into streaming and content creation, it allows you to go off into a whole other journey, a whole other realm of different content and games to play. I've bought every single expansion. I've never made it to level like 10 or beyond. I've started and stopped and been on and off the game more than you can flick the light switch when you leave the room. But finally, after all of this time and all of these years, I've looked back at the fact that I own every piece of the expansion of every part of the game and i've yet to play it now i'm finally starting thankfully because i've met some really cool people along the way in my mind i thought when it came to an mmo game it was best to be played with others and the fact that i had people that would start and then stop drop off never start i just got discouraged i got annoyed i got frustrated so i was done with mmos i tried genshin i tried tower of fantasy i just don't have fun playing those types of games that you have to grind for hours on end unless you have somebody there with you my first mmo i ever played was guild wars 2 then i moved on to a Knights of the Old Republic and both of those games were great but my PC couldn't play Guild Wars 2 and I didn't have anybody to help me get through the slower parts of Knights of the Old Republic so I just didn't play it. Part of the reason why I picked up and put down Final Fantasy 14 a lot was because of that very same reason. The beginning, the main story quest of A Realm Reborn was said to be slow. I didn't believe it but as I played and more and more I realized that it was, it was just I wanted somebody to be there with me to kind of give me that initial push. So fast forward now to almost three and a half years later and I finally got that push from one of my homies I met through streaming in 2022. Now I've been able to go through and get the initial push I need to now I've reached like level 32. I've done a few dungeons. I've actually met some really cool people within the community that have given me like Christmas cookies on Christmas. I've spent way too much money on vials of Fantasia transferring my character over from a Rothgar to now the Aura. Learning about all of the different cool mounts that are out there that you can actually buy from the store that you can earn in game to relic weapons to armor sets to the glamour to all of these really cool and great things that go into playing an MMO and it's the one game that's always stuck out to me that I've wanted to conquer as far as the genre of games go which is MMOs because I think that going on an adventure with friends or putting time in and watching you get rewarded for the effort would be great something like Destiny 2 I didn't really get that as my I guess one true MMO experience and like I said prior to the other MMOs that I've tried to play I never really got the chance to really dig in to get the best experience out of it so I'm hoping that now with this official run of me making it to level 32 and doing all that I have I've officially reached the highest I've ever gotten in any MMO game ever and I actually enjoy the process I'm actually having a great time in playing the game and learning I'm using the main story quest of a realm reborn to learn I want to see if I can learn what role what job works best for me what's my play style is going to be like are there things that are really just made in an MMO game that aren't for me so at the end of the main story quest when a realm reborn is done as I make my way on to heaven's sword I'm hoping that yes I want to continue my journey to where I get to the end of Endwalker and then end game content and all of that other stuff. Or I'm gonna just find out if MMOs just really aren't for me because they don't fit to me as a person and my mindset and my play style and what I prefer and like. But I do have to say that so far so good and I'm looking forward to more. I'm definitely gonna be documenting my entire process of me going through the game. I hope that people out there that are going through the game or that have already been through it kind of enjoy this process with me and join me on the journey and we'll just see where things go from there. And with that, be great. Be you. Fly easy till next time, heroes. Peace.